so this is coming up i'm going to show you how you can present the logo to your client so keep watching until the end because i will be showing great tips to present your logo to your client Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you how you can prepare your logo to present to your client after the completion of the vectorization step that I have shown you in the last video. So for the vectorization step, you have to prepare an artboard of 500 pixels by 1000 pixels I have just created here and after that you can pick up some colors from any popular website or you can choose your own colors. I have shown in the last video that you can choose your colors from the popular website coolers.co explore palette so screenshot your palettes is very easy you can just go to snipping tool from search box and just screenshot the colors that you like so i have zoom out this with control minus i can screenshot a large group of palette easily with the snipping tool so i have also sh shown this in the last video i'm just screenshotting a large group of palettes and just copying it from here and just pasting it in adobe illustrator like that now i will start creating or start placing the mockups that i have already created in photoshop so you can also go to some popular uh, websites for the mockups like pexels.com unsplash.com pixabay.com for creating the mockups of your logo so i have collected some images from unsplash pexels and pixabay i will also place the link in the description search for category of your logo so i have created the logo for food company so i will just search food or fresh food so we will get a bunch of images of food i will just place this image open this image and just right click on it copy image and go to illustrator and just paste it here and i will scale down this image after that i will go to the rectangle tool create a rectangle on top of it and just change the color of the rectangle to black and reduce its opacity to around 85 percent and now i will place my logo here i will right click on it go to arrange bring to front i will resize my logo a little bit so this is the first mockup that i will show i will place here now i will create a copy of my logo and i will ungroup it right click on it and ungroup and delete the text or place the text here and resize it a little bit and this this image i will this is the icon of our logo so i will place it somewhere here just like that and i will also place my logo in different different direction like i will ungroup it and i will place the text beside my logo like that so this is another style of my logo that client can use his logo with and i will place this here so you can write something here about the logo concept or about the shape of the logo or about the icon of the logo or about the text of the logo so you can tell your client here what direction you use to create this logo or what is the story behind this logo this is an optional step you can also also say this to your client on call or send whenever you are sending the logo to your client so this is an optional step you can write this so this is you can do tell your client the story behind the logo so in the next step in the next slide you can show two different colors one with the light color and one with the dark color of your logo so in the next step i will create the pattern of our logo select this make a copy of it and delete the text cause we don't need the text in the pattern select our whole logo i will press ctrl plus g to group it and then i will go to object then pattern then make so it, it says that the new pattern has been added to the swatches panel so here you can also see that the new pattern has been added to our swatches panel i will press ok and then i will change some settings from here brick by column i i will go with brick by column and i will will dim copies to 70% or 80% and I will press done a new swatches has been added we don't need this anymore and I will create a rectangle now and then just pre uh, press on this here the pattern is created so the pattern created in this manner will be seamless pattern and you can easily make changes in the pattern whenever you want to make changes so I don't like the whole part of our logo so I will just use these then i will just press on done now i will place our mock-up images that i have created in the photoshop i will go to file place and then place this image i will crop this image this image this image is very large and we just need the portion of it so i will just go to crop image crop this then go to file again place place another image 
go to file place place another image i will I'll also show you in the next video how you can prepare the mockups or how you can find the images for the mockup it's very easy steps you can go to file place we need to increase the length of our artboard so i will just drag it after clicking on the artboard tool we can just increase or decrease the size of our artboard of our artboard so here you can see we have placed our logo in multiple images so it is showing how the logo will look after the print i will also place our last mockup image at how it will look after if we create a web version of our logo or how it will look in mobile app so these will be the mockups or presentation of our logo that we have to send to our client and we don't need to send just one logo like that we have to create at least three versions of our logo and for the sake of the time or for the sake of this tutorial i have just created one logo and the process is same you just create three logos you have to create three artboards like that and then do the same thing like that just create the one logo and do the mock-up here and then create second logo do the mock-up here and third logo and do the mock-ups like this this thing do all the mock-ups on the third artboard so you have to send at least three pdf files or three jpg files to your client to choose from he can easily choose the logo from the presentation you are showing showing him so it will be very easy for easy for him to choose the logo so whenever send your logo to your client you don't need to ask him uh, immediately that if he likes the logo you can ask him a different question like that how do you think john will react to this logo so for this way he he will have some space and he can he can easily think which logo he will like so these were few of the steps to how to present your logo to your client i hope you liked this tutorial if so please consider subscribing and hit the like button thanks for watching